certainly not ever forgotten. Cleveland Fire holding a ceremony today in honor of two firefighters who died in the line of duty half a century ago. Their families overwhelmed with emotions and gratitude in a way they never expected. Now, 19 News reporter Stephen Hernandez has more. The day that he, he left for work, I stood on the chair and watched the car, his Chevy, go down Lake Avenue, Lake Drive in Avon. I'll never forget that. It's just as heartwarming as it is heartbreaking. Firefighters from across the city gathered at the training academy to honor two fallen officers from 50 years ago, Edward Gresky and John McNamee. The officers were a part of Rescue Squad 1 and died in separate incidents in February and December of 1974 while trying to rescue fire victims. Both men also left two young families behind that were present for the ceremony today and received the kind of support they never would have imagined but welcomed with open arms. It's just amazing to me. Yeah, a little overwhelming walking yeah, in. Yeah, overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. When you have a tragedy like my father who was killed in the line of duty, you think about it every day and you have those memories that you never forget. Today's ceremony, not just an opportunity to honor these firefighters, but also to remember the kind of people they were. He loved his job and he loved the other firefighters that he worked with every day. He was very funny. He was yeah. always joking around. He was always joking, trying to do a practical joke. An afternoon like this, a moment to remember the sacrifices firefighters always make for our neighbors. When people are running out of burning buildings, they're running in. Just think about that, the bravery of those souls. In downtown Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News. Now